I just wanted to say... I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Arthur! Oh, Even Arthur! You, Arthur. Hey, you seem in a good Even mood. You. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. Mr. McGuire, I'll keep back. them girls in line. So come on. If I have to whip them, I will. Let's have ourselves a bump on the head. <laughs> and don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye McGuire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> Have fun. Have we lots of fun. <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh, sure. Let's oh, come on. Let's enjoy ourselves. Uh oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you, fine folks? Hey. <laughs> I suppose. You're did you miss him? As ever. You know, if I, I may think say I so. actually no. did. Stop it. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid. So, was it a long now. ride back with him? You have no idea. Come on. I can How imagine. <laughs> Look <laughs> after your boy tonight. Oh, He's not on board. Listen, my friend. He's been through okay. You know, I okay. I enjoyed a party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk with the rest. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. You know this one, don't you? Go join in. The classic Sean McGuire speech. Yes, yes she definitely We need a reason to celebrate. my love. Your fellow countryman returns. Well, apparently. You deserve a joy. Well, we got him. You did very well. All of you. And now we're stuck with him. Or diddle, diddle, diddle all day. I put my arm around her waist. Mark well what I do say. She says, young man, you're in great haste. For the diddle, diddle, diddle all the day. I put my hand upon her thigh. Mark well what I do say. She says, you're getting pretty nigh to my diddle, diddle, diddle all the day. I put my hand upon her ass. Mark well what I do say. She says, let's lay down on the grass and diddle, diddle, diddle all the day. Minute. Just dreaming of leaving. And and then they left. And then they jumped back in again. Stupid. You know what? That, that taught me something. And, and and it taught me something I will never forget. And that's that most fellas are sheep. That's right. And, and if you can tell the difference between a you, you, the difference between a sheep and uh, a, a sheep and... Then you... you, well, you, the, you that makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words. All of you, mark my words. Stupid army. Sheep. I am ready to let loose tonight. Who been too long? You're always ready to let loose, Martian. Well, life's too short. Suddenly you, you seem easy, much better, Martian. Martian. Family man now. Don't feel too sudden to me. Right. I don't think so. Tonight's all about having fun. McGuire's back. And just when the drinks know. come out. <laughs> well, he's back. As loud a mouth as ever. Ah, oh, you can talk. So, uh, what happened to you and Valentine? <laughs> I don't remember too much. You? I woke hey. up in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> Messy. Hey there. 
Mr. Morgan! Morgan! Reverend? Hello! Hello! What do you want? I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. You didn't need much excuse. Somebody needs to show you all how it's done. And I'm sure you will. So your drinking pal's back. With a vengeance, it seems. <laughs> yeah, I'd forgotten how loud he was. Cheer up, Strauss. It's a party. What do you mean? I'm in an excellent mood. Oh, okay. Sorry. I can never tell. Sean will make your life hell when he finds out you're an O'Driscoll. Oh, great. Just be grateful you're alive. You all right? Yeah, it's good to have him back. Let's see if we're still saying that in a day or two. How are you doing, Mrs. Adler? Uh, not really in the party mood. I understand. What you think of me? <laughs> Sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster.
Mr. Morgan. <laughs> My dear. Thank well, you again thank for the you, dance, Miss Gaskell. Well, of course. <laughs> Anytime. You're better than I thought you'd be. Oh, try and take that as a compliment. Oh, uh, you know. Been better. We have had quite the ride, huh? Oh, yeah. Quite the ride. They ain't strung us yet. <laughs> no. Maybe they never will. Hi, Karen. They won't. Hello, Arthur. I'm gonna get us out of this one. <laughs> we have been stuck before. <laughs> you... <laughs> do you remember that mine? <laughs> of course. Is that... Oh, that nauseating Poppin' Jay in that frontier town? Hi, Molly. Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> we did it. Jose. Huh? Whatever else happens, we did it. I know. Nice to see you in a good mood. Am I stuck in the past, Arthur? Ah, oh, only you can answer that. Are you having fun, Arthur? Sure. You don't look like so much fun, boy. That's your fucking hair down like a man. <laughs> Hell, even old man Strauss is more of a laugh than you, boy. Well, thank you, kid. I, I, I'm sorry, Arthur. I, I, I didn't mean it. It's just because I care. Uh, you know, it's because I love you, Arthur. Really, it is. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Well, the bison went, my people went. They were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. 
Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Skin and butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Come on, girl. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. No. Look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. since they left? Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. What a damn waste. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. 
You see anything? I see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp? It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. More dead bison. It has to be that. Come on. Wait up. <laughs> did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said. Did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. Easy, big man. What the hell are you doing? Why are you <clears throat> killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us and you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please don't. Kill me. I'm begging you. All right. Now get out of here. Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. And run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm going to see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.